In the next 60 days, I'm gonna be turning these hundred dollars into a million dollars. So in the next 60 days, this is going to be my only focus. I withdrew all of my money from my personal account and I'm only going to be trading this hundred dollar account until I take it to a million. And I'm putting everything on the line to complete this challenge. I'm putting my reputation, I'm putting my career at risk just to complete this. And I'm gonna be documenting and journeying every single trade that I take and I'm gonna put it here on YouTube every single week and daily on my Instagram of how I'm doing in this challenge. I'm gonna be showing you guys the deposit, the withdrawals of every single trade that I take every single week and most importantly, it's going to be an audited account. So it's gonna be as transparent as it can be. And for the initial start of this challenge, I've come all the way to Europe where I literally came just so I get in sync with the time zone so I can trade London session in the morning and New York session in the afternoon. So I have no excuses on why I don't achieve this challenge. And this is going to be as transparent as I guess. I'm going to be showing you guys the trades live during my effects book, all the trades that I take, and you guys are gonna follow along with me every single trade. And I'm gonna also be sharing the trades on my Instagram, Telegram, Discord, just to show not only you guys here on YouTube, but every other other community how I'm gonna be able to do on this challenge which is very very selective on the type of trades that I take and one last thing before we get started I want to disclose that I am NOT going to be disclosing the broker that I'm using simply because I have no affiliation with them and I have no control over what happens on the platform so I don't want to be responsible for sending thousands of traders to a platform that I simply have no affiliation and I have no control over this is to protect my reputation and most importantly to show you guys how genuine I am as a person and that I benefit from nothing other than my my trading because I can literally be making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month by affiliating with a broker and I am not I'm just doing this for you guys to show you guys that this is possible any other person in my position will take that deal in a heartbeat and send everybody to a direction I'm not doing it so that's why I'm not going to be disclosing the broker because I don't want to be in responsibility of anything and to show you guys how genuine I am as a person so with that being said let's get this challenge started all right so now I'm gonna explain to you guys a little bit of how I'm gonna exactly turn the hundred dollars into the mini I know this might sound a little bit crazy Crazy, but I've been planning this for two months and this is how I'm gonna do it. So in order for this to actually work, my first four winning trades have to be winners because I'm, going, I'm trying to flip the hundred dollars to about four or five K. And once I do that, I have enough room cushion so I can risk a little bit less and then I can set and forget longer with my trades so I can flip the account in under 60 days. So my first four trades are very crucial and I'm gonna be very, very selective of what type of trades I take. And if I survive this first challenge, which is the hardest of the whole entire challenge, I can have anywhere from three to $4,000 by the end of the week. So my goal with the first trade is to have around four to $500 in profit. Then my second trade, I wanna flip those four to 500 to about 1,200. And then on my third trade, I wanna flip those 1,200 to about 2,500. And on the fourth trade, it's flipped those 2,500 to 5K. So we gotta make sure we get these solid winning trades. So by the time I get to the 5K, I'm gonna lower my risk to about 25% per trade, which could be anywhere from 1,000 to $1,250 per trade. All right, what's up, guys? So today is the start of the hundred to the million, the official day that we have started. So it is currently right now, July twenty fourth, nine a.m. GMT plus two. So this would be around three a.m. EST. So we're about to start London session, and um, as of right now, count is literally fresh, hundred dollars just deposited today in the morning. And this is exactly what I'm going to be looking for the market prediction right now. So coincidentally enough, literally, look at the time right here. It is nine oh seven in the morning. If we look to the top right corner. You see 908 in the morning. You guys can tell that this trade right here literally is about to get activated right now. So basically what I'm predicting to happen in this trade right here is I'm just going to look for a little breakout above this zone right here. Because uh, kind of once we break out of this zone, I'm expecting for price to have a little push. And then we can kind of, in a way, get that little quick momentum and then sell before it comes back. Because, you know, we have to be very aggressive at the beginning of the challenge, kind of like how I already mentioned. So I'm going to wait for a little breakout and then see what happens. So we'll check back in in like an hour and see where it's at. And I'm not going to only be trading one market this week. So I'm taking a very aggressive approach. So I'm going to be trading several markets so I have more probabilities of passing this. So let me show you the different markets I'm trading. So the first one's going to be GBP USD, how we already mentioned. We're waiting for the breakout of this zone to get a buy. Um, our next one would be GBP CAD, which we are waiting for pretty 
much the same thing as the last pair. We're just waiting for a breakout to take the trade. Here, we're waiting for a little breakout to take the trade, to have the retracement to go long. Literally, the exact same thing that happened right here. I'm just waiting for it to happen right here. So I'm gonna be waiting for a break above this zone. This is where I'll come and I'll put an alarm so it notifies me that it has broken this area. We notice the alarm is already set. Uh, next, we have AUD JPY, which I'm gonna be waiting for a rejection from this zone to take the trade where I will be going down to the lower time frames and just waiting for price to kind of come into this area right here this line in order for me to take the trade next we have euro usd where it's the exact same thing i'm going to be waiting for the break above this zone to take the trade literally waiting for the quick break above and if you notice it is the same exact thing that i'm waiting for on gbp usd but on euro usd so if you notice i'm looking at all of these different markets but i'm having the same approach the same strategy so this is what makes me consistent i'm very confident i'm going to pass this chat all right so update on the markets that we're looking at today so it's one o'clock ibiza time it's 6 30 in the morning miami time so basically the trade that we are looking to get in would be gbp cad which is the same trade that we were looking at earlier what we're looking at to enter once we put the alarm for the breakout but now we're at our next zone you notice i buy at these zones so i'm gonna wait for this next hourly candlestick to close which is gonna be the entry of new york session so i'm looking to enter the trade at this area next we have gbp usd which we are waiting for the breakout to break out of that zone never broke out never took the trade that's why we stick to our plan after that we have AUD JPY which I drew up that black line where I wanted price to come back into that black line in order for me to be interested in the trade so right now I'm gonna give it about another hour until we enter New York session so like the volume kicks in because we're just ending London now and just to show you guys still no trades on the account still no trade so I'll keep you guys updated all right so up there right now it's about 8 o'clock p.m. here so we are six hours back so it's 2 p.m. EST Miami time so updating you guys from the trades from earlier that we're supposed to take so gbp cad we were looking to buy at this area today in the morning once we broke our alarm we didn't do that we avoided one loss then we were waiting for the price to come into this next zone to then look for buys to then take the trade to the upside but my entry signal never activated so didn't end up taking the trade here avoided two losses and then next we have gbp usd we were looking for the buys earlier this morning didn't break out so avoided a third loss and then last but not least AUD JPY. i was looking to buy at this line right here if you guys remember earlier from this morning didn't take it because it just wasn't a high probability trade so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be waiting for a pullback into this area right here in order to actually take the trade to the upside like that shows you guys the simplicity of to avoid losses in trading the set and forget strategy i just avoided three losses because my first trade has to be the best one because it's the most important it's going to get me out from that starting balance of 100 bucks to hopefully five six seven eight hundred bucks so then i could keep compounding it so market update all right so we're back uh, it is currently one in the morning Ibiza time and it is 6 50 EBC time. So daily, just the daily candlestick just closed one hour ago. So basically this is what we were looking for earlier today. Remember how we were earlier this morning, we were at this high and I'm expecting this pull back into this area to take the trade long. So we're on our way to that area. So I'm gonna wait for the session to kick in. And then right here we have GBP USD, which I'm gonna be waiting for now a breakout of this zone right here in order for me to take the trade to the upside. So I'm gonna be waiting for somewhat of like a breakout like this, hopefully uh, in London session in order for me to take that trade and then we have gbp cad which i don't like it anymore as of how this daily candlestick closed so as you guys can tell it is currently right here tuesday the 25th 1 a.m and then right now we have absolutely no trades on the account still they're the same exact account no trades as of right now so we'll update tomorrow in the morning all right so trade update it is 11 30 in the morning here in ibiza so the trade is pulling back as we speak right now we were probably up about 50 dollars so if i go here we were probably up like about 50 now we're negative 12 dollars i like how we're going to come back into this area and create the next step you notice the market moves in step i think it's just creating the next higher low step then have the next push to the upside and start heading to the upside hopefully we reject the zone and uh so i don't forget if we lose this trade we're going to lose about anywhere 30 to like 50 dollars so we're going to see what happens and i'll update you in a little bit Oh, it hasn't hit no stop loss. I actually think we had to do that in order to keep going up, so. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't blow this account. We're getting ready to go to London. 
to uh, make money there. Straight to London, but we gotta stop by Portugal in order to pull up to London. We couldn't get a jet in time to go from here to London. It was cheap, it was like 20K, but we couldn't find one because there's no parking in Ibiza because Ibiza is packed all week because of summer or whatever. And so now we gotta get on a regular plane. <laughs> All right, so we're officially landed in the UK. So we just landed in the UK right now. It is currently Tuesday, it's 7 p.m. So it's probably like a two, three hour update from the last time we saw the trade. And now the account is up about $107. So it's the same exact trade that we took. So like, this is the trade. This is where we were in the drawdown earlier. No stop loss, because I just said, bro, we're going all the way in on one side, because I know how to predict the mark in the direction perfectly. Now the tricky part is just getting in, and that's where I have the set and forget strategy, where I teach the direction and how to enter so right now we've created a higher high i'm expecting for maybe another little retracement for price to come back into this area if price comes back into this area then i'll be looking to buy again to continuation to the upside so far about 100 bucks officially in london fam bloody hell trade update up about oh 160. We're in London, baby. Is that the Big Ben? Hey, what's going on? Let's see how the trade's doing. Oh, we got 1%. We got to check up tomorrow. All right, so today it is Wednesday, 9.25 GMT plus one. So we're in London time right now. So basically instead of being six hours ahead, now we're five hours ahead. So that confused me a little bit because now London starts at eight in the morning, not at nine. So we ended up catching a trade, easy money. Remember how yesterday I was explaining to you guys how I was looking for a pullback in order to take the trade to the upside because I was explaining to you guys how we had the higher high push. We can then have a retracement and then continue going long. Well, I didn't manage to get in this retracement right here because I just wasn't active during that session. And then I managed to get on the next retracement here in the session that I was looking in to get in. And if you notice right here, we managed to get in on a very, very nice little trade. Um, Not much. Like if you guys look at the trade right now, it is up about $15. So I literally couldn't take any more lot sizes. So basically right now I'm looking to now enter Euro USD as well. I'm waiting for price to come back into this area to then head to the upside, or I'm going to then be waiting for a breakout of this area to take the trade. And then GBP CAD, remember how at the beginning of the week, I was explaining how I wasn't looking for longs here, but I was waiting for the breakout of this area to then go long. Well, now we had a beautiful push to the upside, and now I'm gonna be waiting for the, literally the same thing that I was waiting for here at the beginning of the week that it didn't happen. Now I'm gonna be waiting for it here again. So for now, we're gonna set and forget our GBP USD trade, and then uh, I might close the small position just to kind of build a little bit of a margin in the account but i'll update you guys throughout the day so stay tuned all right so i'm, I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly how i'm gonna do this with the risk management i gotta be at 5k by the end of august 4th so i gotta start august 7th with 5k because the challenge is supposed to be done on september 24th because that's 60 days from the day that I started obviously if i go over a week or two it doesn't matter but the point is if i go from 5k to 10k 10k to 20k 20k to 40k 40k to 80k 80k to 160, 60 to 340, and then 340 to like six, seven hundred thousand, and then from there just do a quick flip to like a mail. Pow! Oh! So it's probably gonna take me like 70 days, but I have to win every single week and double up every single week because I'm a, I'm already doubled up. I'm already almost tripled up on this trade actually doubled up so i just have to get to the 5k once i get to the 5k it's just double up from that point but to get from here to the 5k i have to like 500x or what is it like 5000x we can do it all right so trade up there right now it is 2:40 uh london time so it's probably like 9 40 miami time so an update on the trade is that we are currently still bullish as of right now we have a like we still have we're still in both trades right we're still in this trade that we took yesterday on almost blew the account and then on the new one and then currently right now let me show you guys the trade that i predicted this morning what i wanted to happen and how it's happening again so i predicted i'd say out of 10 moves probably like eight or seven as you guys can tell right here gbp cad earlier this morning uh um, I predicted how I was waiting for the breakout perfectly to the high of that line. Now I'm waiting for the pullback to take the trade to the upside. Uh, GBP USD, we're gonna keep set and forgetting this thing. And then next would be Euro USD, how I'm waiting for the breakout of this zone to then buy the trade. So 
let's go. All right, so trade up there right now. So it is currently 526. So it's about 126 Miami time. So the four hour candlestick just closed. So as of right now, we are very much still bullish. I am still in both trades. So I'm gonna be waiting for the next probably four hours, which is the next daily candlestick to close. So as you guys can tell, we are still very much still in this trade right here in this one. And then we are still in this one right here. And I'm gonna be holding them for a little bit longer. So these are the results as of right now. I'm up a total of, it's refreshing. We got the 270 bucks, so looking good. All right, so this is why, this, this is why we came to London. So I can catch all of these sessions. So as of right now, this is still the same exact trade. All we're doing is we're setting, we're getting that's all we're doing right now. Trading is supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be hard. So we're still continuing the move as of right now. Again, we're still in the same exact trade up about now $340. Like, let's go. And then you guys remember Euro USD from this morning. You guys can see the Euro USD. I was expecting for the breakout to happen. And then after we get the breakout, we're gonna get the pullback. Exactly what we're having as of right now. So I'm gonna probably let the other trades ride before I actually get into this trade right here. Because like I said, this still has a lot of upside room. As you can tell, there's still plenty of room. This will probably get my account up to a nice piece. All right, so trade up there right now. We just got back from dinner. So it is 12.37 London time. So this is how the trade is currently looking. So we had a very strong push up. Now we're getting a retracement. So if it's bullish, we should keep doing the same thing. Little steps to the upside. But the only thing I don't like how the daily time frame closed, we can probably see a big daily retracement back into this area to then head back up to the upside. So I'm gonna be waking up in about five hours, which is gonna be uh, 5 a.m. Uh, London time, which be 12 o'clock Miami time and when I see how the market is to see if I close the trade pre London session before it has that push if it has that push so for now we're gonna keep set of forgetting trade is still exactly the same we're up now about what on it's loading now we're up about 260 bucks so still in route see how it goes so we'll check in in the morning all right, so it is currently Thursday, uh, nine in the morning in London, and then it's a, it's 4 a.m. Miami time. So I just come here. What time is it in Miami? I refresh the website, refresh the website. So it's Thursday, 27, 4:10. If you add the five hours from London, my clock pretty simple. And then this is the trade right now, following up from last night. Exactly what I said. You guys can see right here, last night we were at this high. I'm explaining, all right, we're gonna have a retracement now where we can potentially keep doing the same exact thing that we're doing, which is creating the bullish trend to the upside. And would you look at that? Exactly what I said. They ain't believe in us. Oh, as of right now, this is where the trade is. And I literally can't take another trade because the leverage and the margin doesn't let me. But if I would have been able to take more trades, this account would probably be at five, six K right now already, because I would enter at every single higher low that I predicted. And this is the next trade. Let me just actually move this a little bit to the right. And then let me push this to the upside. So we are still in both of these trades. Last night predicted this pullback to hit the upside. And then next we have Euro USD. And if you guys noticed it is exactly what I said yesterday as well. Yeah. So I literally said we we're gonna wait for the breakout. Once you wait for the breakout, you have to wait for the higher low pullback to then go to the upside. I would have very much taken this trade as well, but I literally couldn't because my account doesn't let me due to the leverage and the margin that I have. So, and I would have taken that trade along with the other one, but I'm already maxed out on the capability of what that account can take in trades. Like it's already at the max. There's no way I can take any more positions due to the account size. So I have to wait till I close a trade in order so I can take another trade so predicted this one predicted gbp usd continuation and predict cad where i expected this breakout then the pullback to go long so everything as of right now has been a hit usually what i do is i'll pick two out of these three trades on my regular account and just go two three percent risk but on a big account now kind of have to pick the best one and just ride with it so for the prediction for the rest of the day i believe now it should continue to create like it has a high probability of continuing to create these higher lows to the upside um but there is one thing to keep in mind and that would be the daily time frame that it 
they can still have that retracement. So I might be closing very soon because truthfully, I am ahead of schedule. I wanted to be by the end of this week around $300 maybe. So we're at 500, so we're ahead of schedule. So we'll check in in about three, four hours time and then see what happens. So I just got asked right now in a DM, what would I do if I were to start from zero with no money? And it's literally the same exact thing that I already did because I started with no money. I was at Dunkin' Donuts five years ago. And the first things first, no matter what, is have a vision. Like, is this actually possible? The next thing would be get educated, learn. There's no way you're gonna make money in any industry without learning. It's like same thing, you're gonna go to the gym. You're not gonna get fit if you don't learn about your diet or you don't know about how to actually work out. And then the third thing is have a crazy obsession that people think you're crazy. Doesn't matter what your parents say, doesn't matter what your friends say, your cousins, uh, relatives, your neighbor, doesn't matter. You have to be so deep into the vision and so deep into your own journey that you do not listen to any outsiders. And that's exactly what I did. I was in like a six to eight month dark mode where the only person I talked to was myself. That's why I got the results that I have today. All right, so trade update, not looking good. Trade about a hit margin call, so as you guys can tell. We are about $70 in a loss, which I can close the trade right now. We're back at almost like starting balance, but I'm honestly just gonna wait till the daily candlestick closes, because as soon as the daily candlestick closes, if it closes under those bodies, then it's a done deal. The trade's gonna keep going down. If it closes above, it has some faces still going up. So we got about three hours left, so we'll update in three hours. Three hours later. All right, so update from yesterday's trade. Count officially blown it is what it is i'm not gonna lie i was super greedy i was up almost 600 dollars on this trade which is more than my initial goal my goal was just to end off the week anywhere from 200 to three four hundred dollars and i was well up over that and i did it so i got greedy so it is what it is lesson learned first attempt failed second attempt i'm ready to go so we're already in our second trade in our second attempt like i literally just took this trade right now it's going to be gbp cat so let me let me actually show you. so this is the exact same trade that we've been looking to buy whether it broke and retested above when it broke and retested above here or if we were looking to buy here if it ever gave me my entry signal as you can tell we're back at this zone you guys are seeing this is the secret the secret is to buy at a strong area of interest these are strong area of interest and right here you can see that this is my new area of interest and i've got in my entry signal to enter this trade as of right now so i'm not being greedy anymore and i'm setting my take profit as to what it should be so this should have a nice push up a little retracement and then continue going to the upside and this is currently how that trade is looking on the new account right now bro the cars are coming this way Oh. All right, so trade out there right now. GBP CAD probably like two, three hours ago from the last time we updated it. Exactly what I said. Buy at the area secret. of interest, wait for the entry signal, and never forget. We're doing it again. And this time we learned, you know, I could have gone a lot higher risk, but as you guys can tell here, we're now $60 on this brand new account. Like literally showed you guys the trade live, showing you guys the trade, the updates. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna close right before the week close. Hopefully I can make a little bit more um, so I can be in profit the amount that I need. So I can start off next week on fire so I can flip it to a thousand in under two or three trades like this does not get any more legit than this i'm literally showing you guys the trade before and after imagine being that old and having a ferrari it's not worth it you gotta have a ferrari when you're young not when you're old like that guy guy probably can't even go fast enough we are going to acai berry in kensington and chelsea what's it called uh it's 247 king's road 247 King's Ride. Oh, I think I saw mine. I think I saw <laughs> Alright, so trade update. So we officially closed the trade for Friday on the new account. So we are completely done with the challenge today. So as you guys can tell, it is currently 2 o'clock uh, London time. It is 9 a.m. So I don't want to hold the trade past 9 a.m. Miami time because the market's about to close. It's on Friday. So I'd rather get my profits and leave. So as you guys can see here, we're at $155. This is on one phone. 
I'll show you guys here on another phone. This is another phone, which is the exact same thing. We're up to $55. I'm gonna show you guys on my effects book too. And then this is our my effects book, which you kind of have to wait for it to update. The last time I updated was two hours ago. As you guys can tell here, this is the equity that it's up, 156. So this will probably refresh in the next couple of minutes, but trade is done. I made 55% just today. And obviously we learned the lesson. So I, I blew the account yesterday and today I'm already up 55%. Like, trust me, next week is about to be fired because I'm coming in 10 times more focused and with the lessons learned and on top of that we're gonna set up forget all right guys so right now we're back on our way to the hotel and let's do a quick recap of what happened this week right there's a lot that happened so it obviously started in ibiza where we were looking to take a buy on gbp usd and we we're looking to sell euro usd we missed the first trade on euro usd and then we avoided two to three losses at the beginning of the week by simply waiting for the breakout of the trade then after that on tuesday we ended up taking the trade on gbp usd that started this whole entire challenge the trade went up into profit probably about 40 50 dollars then it came down into drawdown where we nearly blew the account and as soon as we got on the flight to go from ibiza to portugal and from portugal to the uk we land and then the trade is about a hundred like twenty dollars in profit so that's the power of the set and forget just at the beginning of the chapter. And then we managed to take another trade on Thursday here in Europe, where we managed to get another entry where it probably gave us probably a total of positive equity, like $600 on the account. But then, you know, the market reversed. I ended up getting a little bit too greedy and holding the trades too long. It happens. It was my mistake, not the markets. I predicted that I was going to pull back. I didn't think I was going to pull back that fast that much. I take full responsibility, learn from my mistakes, and now we're going to apply that to this new account, which we're already up 55% in just one session on a Friday. Like a couple hours before the market closed, I made 55% on a trade. So the two very important lessons that I learned is that you cannot get greedy. I was getting very greedy with the trade because I just wanted to make more money and flip it to a thousand with just one movement. And then the other lesson that I learned was to stick to a positive risk to reward, a minimum of a 2.5 risk to reward. Doesn't have to be any more than that. And let me show you guys the performance of my second account where I am already up 55% on just one single trade a couple of hours before the market closed. So um, with the lessons learned that I had on the first account and already starting up positive, I'm very excited for what this next week has to bring because I think I'm ready to turn it up. I think we're gonna close this next week, probably $1,000, $1,500 in profit easy and i'm gonna be back in my home office so let's see how that goes all right so that's a wrap for week one of the challenge i'll see you guys next week where i'm gonna be taking the 100 to a mil where it gets even crazier than week one but make sure if you guys want to make anywhere from a thousand to a thousand five hundred dollars a week with my set and forget strategy just hit the link in the description below there's a video there that explains everything to you in detail so you guys can not only follow along my challenge but for you guys hopefully one day you guys could turn 100 into a mil as well so make sure you guys stay tuned to next week and i'll see you guys there